What's up YouTube? This is Joy Neville and I'm back with another video. Today is Friday night. I just got off of work and I saw a couple new subscribers and I want to say hi guys. Thank you for subscribing. They're coming from different channels so thank you House of Parker for giving me a shout out. I appreciate you and um, congrats to starting or continuing your journey and good luck and I'm here if you need anything. And then thank you Tommy910, I appreciate you. That was amazing, love ya. And congrats on your 600 pound weight loss once again. So thank you guys for the shout out. It's always nice to help a fellow subscriber, a YouTuber, influencer out. So I appreciate that tremendously so thank you so hello my name is Joy Neville and if you're new to my channel I've lost 141 pounds it has been almost four years February 14th will be four years that I've kept it off and that I'm still continuing my journey I have a few more pounds to go and then I really want to work on my health as far as physical health um, like working out and toning up and stuff like that so that's where I'm at with my journey. But today is Friday night and on my last video I told you guys and I left it in my comments page to ask me questions. If anybody had any questions I would love to answer them. Um, and then on my Instagram too. If anybody had any questions I would love to answer them. So I got some questions. So thank you for you guys that left some questions um, for me to answer. I appreciate it. And a couple of them, if I don't mention you, it's because it was a repetitive question. So I'm just trying to cover them all in, you know, minimal questions. So I don't have an hour long video because <laughs> you guys know I'm not good at editing. All right. So let's get into this. First question is from Mama Three Blessings. All right. Let's see. She wants to know... If I have any, she wants to know how to balance it all. Give her some tips. She has to fix food for her husband's, her kids, and then she has to eat different food, and she wants to know if there's balance or any tricks or tips to doing that. She said when she's motivated, she's on point, but when she's not and she's not losing any weight, then she struggles and gives up. So... She wants to know if there's any tips or tricks on the balancing that lifestyle. So yes, there is. When you have to, first of all, you have to believe in yourself, you guys. Weight loss is hard. It's not easy. I'm still struggling. I know it doesn't look like I'm struggling. <clears throat> and I know some of you are like, I want to lose 10 pounds. You lost 141. I was there. I was there on the other side of that screen watching YouTubers going, man, I just wish I could lose 10 pounds. I wish I could lose 20 pounds. How do they do it? It's so hard. I can't commit. I can't do it. That's why I didn't do it because I kept telling myself I can't do it. So first and foremost, tip number one, you have to believe in yourself and make yourself do it for yourself. Put yourself first because if you don't put yourself first, we can't take care of those kids, those grandkids, those moms and dads that need us because they're older the sons and, and daughters and sisters and mothers and aunties, whoever needs you, there's someone that needs you. Even if it's an animal that needs you, somebody needs you and you can't help them and take care of them to your best if you don't take care of yourself. And so that's tip number one. But I wrote down a couple things. So how I balance, you guys know I have a husband. I've got <coughs> adult sons. I call them teenagers, but they're adults actually. The youngest is 18. I have grandbabies, um, daughter-in-law, all that. So I'm always cooking. I'm always cooking meals for them. And we have food, get-togethers, and stuff like that. How I balance it is when I come home and I cook a meal for them, there's three ways I go about this. The first way is I meal prep. So most weeks I meal prep and when I meal prep I usually show you guys unless it's something I've already done repetitively then I don't show you guys but meal prep is the first tip if you meal prep and you at least have and you don't have to have every meal in the fridge but if you at least have dinner say you make a soup for the next three or four days well there you go you have a soup in the fridge you can eat 
that fits your lifestyle. And everybody's lifestyle is different, whether you're keto, low carb, high carb, vegetarian, vegan, pescatarian, whatever it may be. You make a food that fits your needs and you put it in the fridge. That's my first tip. Have some meals prepped in the fridge. That way when you make food or dinner for your husband, your kids, your wife, whoever, your auntie, your mother, your sister, your brother, you have something you can then go eat. Then you don't have to make two meals. Now, I know there's people that don't like leftovers and don't like meals sitting in the fridge, so your hot meals. For those people, then I would say go to buy and have on hand a couple freezer items. Now, I'm not someone that recommends all the time eating out of a freezer. It's more higher in sodium, it's not as good for you, but I mean, I do it. I have foods so that when I don't want to cook and I just cooked a good big meal for them and I don't feel like cooking for me and there's nothing meal prepped in the fridge, I go to the freezer and there's always something. For instance, I have air fried chicken strips in there. They're from Tyson's, they're called air fried chicken strips. They have nuggets, chicken patties, all that. I toss one in the microwave or the air fryer or the oven in a couple minutes. I have a meal, I dip it in my boathouse ranch, I make a canned vegetable or a raw vegetable on the side, and I've got a meal, a nice good meal that fills me up that I enjoy. So free, having some freezer foods on hand, just a couple that you enjoy, that you know you can toss in as soon as their meal's done, you can enjoy it and eat it, that's a good option to do. So I always recommend either, either having a meal prepped in your fridge or having something on hand in the freezer that you can toss in your air fryer, your oven, the microwave, whatever it may be. Because there are nights, we're human, there's nights where we're dead dog tired and we don't want to do anything. I'm having one of those nights tonight. I got off work, I came home, I have not cooked for them, I'm going to put up this video. And to be honest, I'll probably order them pizza. I don't feel like cooking. Am I going to eat the pizza? No. I'm going to go. Well, I have soup meal prepped in the fridge so I could have that, but I don't feel like that. There's days where you just don't feel like eating your meal prep. So I'm probably going to go to the freezer and look for something that I can eat. So there's, there's always that option. And then the third one is anything you cook for them. I don't know if you guys watched my video the other night, but I was making them bread pizzas, French bread pizzas or garlic bread pizzas. I made me pizza too. I just opted for different toppings, different stuff. So I made their pizzas, and it took the same amount of time to grab me a low-carb pita that I had on hand, which is a good tip, have stuff on hand. And then I used the same sauce, and then I topped it with less pepperonis and less sausage and less cheese. I used my fat-free cheese. So I just opted a couple things, but I still got to have my pizza. So I still got to have a meal with them that I cooked for them. I just swapped out certain things to make it lower carb, lower calorie for me. So that would be my third option. So meal prep, have snacks on hand, have freezer foods on hand if you're tired that night, and have a meal in the fridge. Or whatever you're making for them, opt out and pick healthier options. Say you're making meatloaf, mashed potatoes, and gravy. I always say this because my guys love it. I eat the meatloaf if I make meatloaf, mashed potatoes, and gravy. I don't always eat it, but sometimes if I want it, I eat it. I eat the meatloaf, then I substitute the mashed potatoes, and you can have mashed potatoes, but it's a small serving if we're being honest, and you're portioning, so that kind of sucks. And if you're keto or someone that's really low carb, you can't really have the potatoes. So I substitute it for a vegetable. I get like green beans, broccoli, cauliflower, whatever it may be, and I substitute and you can even top it with a little bit of like Alfredo sauce or something or spaghetti sauce that's lower carb they do have them and you got a decent meal you know and you're not feeling deprived of that meatloaf and mashed potato meal so those are just options that I suggest so I hope that helps um, cuz that's what I do and it tends to help me it's got me through this last three and a half years because it isn't easy it is not easy, especially when you have got kids eating snacks all the time. You make snacks for them, you want to grab a couple. I have grandbabies. When they eat, they want to feed me. I take a bite. I don't tell them no, or I'll grab one off the plate. Moderation, you guys. We're not perfect. We're human. But for the most part, try to have your stuff on hand that you can grab and eat for your meals. Um, try and think...
when you're not losing weight and you want to give up that was the other part of your question I've been there I'm actually there right now if I'm being completely honest I'm having a really hard time right now and it's a struggle <laughs> I feel like crying it's a struggle I feel poofy my weights up a couple pounds not a lot but it's a struggle and I know it will go down in a few days but I wasn't feeling good and so I'm bloated and then it went down and now it's back up and I'm like what is going on and I know for me personally I have too many carbs in my diet I know that right now and so I gotta take it down a notch I don't do keto but I definitely try to watch my carb intake and right now I think I just have too many and because I trained my body for a lifestyle of lower carb items like no pastas, no potatoes, no bread and here and there I've been eating a bite of bread, a bite of this, a bite of that it's starting to interfere with my metabolism and stuff so for me I know I have to get back on track with that so I get it, I get when you aren't losing weight and you want to give up but look at the big picture and say what am I doing because we always tell ourselves, I'm doing everything I'm supposed to and I'm not losing weight. There's always something that we're, we know we're doing wrong. We just don't want to be honest with ourselves. And once we're honest with ourselves and we're like, get it together. You know you were supposed to do this and you've been eating that. Or you know you were supposed to have this many calories and you've been eating this many calories. Or you know you've been taking second helpings of this and you shouldn't be eating that. Whatever it is, you know your body's not used to and you've incorporated it in get it back out of there and just get back on track and it doesn't mean we're messing up it doesn't mean it's wrong food is not bad we just have to train ourselves food is a luxury we're eating to get healthier because unfortunately some of us don't have fast metabolisms I'm one of them and so I can't eat like my kids eat where they just scarf everything down and they stay skinny so we just got to eat in moderation and don't make the food bad just say, I'm going to have this on a holiday, I'm going to have this at a later date, or I'm just going to have a small portion of this, whatever it may be. We know what we got to do for our journey. And I always say whatever it may be because everybody's journey is different. I don't know what kind of lifestyle you guys do. Everybody's is different. Mine is lower carb, but it's not under 50, cal uh, 50 carb, low carb, which is considered low carb. And it's not keto. And so lower carb is different than keto, you know. So when I say whatever it may be, you guys know what your journey is and so modify it to that but um it's hard there is no there's no tricks um, weight loss is hard and every day is a struggle and I'm struggling right now but I'm gonna get through it just like you're gonna get through it with me we're gonna do this it's alright I've struggled and you'll see many videos if you scroll through my thing in the past where I've had a struggle week or two or three or four and then I get right back on track. That's just my life. It's been four years. I know I'm not going to go back to being obese again. I couldn't move. My knees hurt. I was depressed. I was sad. I was miserable. And I was making everybody else miserable. So I know I will never go back to that. But it's definitely a struggle. If you're struggling, get back on track. You'll start to feel better. And once you go, I always say three days. Once you hit that three-day mark of eating good, the fourth day starts to get easier. The fifth day really starts to get easier. By the seventh day, you're back on track. So anybody can do anything for seven days, they say. So just tell yourself that. Tell yourself it's not forever, it's for seven days. And then once you get back on track for that week, you'll start to feel better and then you'll want to keep going again. You'll see the scale moving again. You'll start to feel good again. Trust me. <laughs> Don't give up. You're strong. We're strong humans. We don't give ourselves enough credit. Anyways, now that I went on my spiel. All right, next question. Doreen Campbell. Hi, Doreen. So, she has a couple questions. What's my favorite meal to make? This is short and simple. I love ground chicken. Ground chicken patties, ground chicken meatballs. I cook them all up in the frying pan, and I keep them for about five days in the fridge, four or five days and I go to it every night for dinner. I put them in wraps. I put it with eggs. I eat it with just um, ketchup or boathouse ranch. Mustard, I love. Or I'll do it in a lettuce wrap and eat it like a burger. I love ground chicken patties. They're my favorite go-to. 
and with a good side of green beans or cauliflower, my favorite vegetables, with Alfredo sauce, my favorite topping on vegetables. Um, Alfredo sauce in the jar, the store brand, some of them are like 35, 40 calories for a fourth of a cup. That's a good amount. And low carb. They don't have a lot of carbs. I think three or four carbs. They're not that high in carbs. So yeah, try it out. Meat and vegetables. Ground chicken and veggies is my favorite, favorite. If you haven't tried ground chicken, try it. It has so much flavor. It's nothing like ground turkey. It's so much flavor. So that's my favorite go-to meal. Do I ever fast? Um, I like to think on my work days I fast every work day because um, I usually don't eat when I wake up. I have coffee, black coffee. So the first time I eat for the day is usually about 2 o'clock. So yeah, I do fast. Um, is it intended? No, not really. I just I just don't eat. I wasn't, I'm, I'm not hungry. When I'm at home though, I do sometimes have breakfast like hard boiled eggs, yogurt. You guys will see when I do my what I eat in the days. But even then it's not till like usually 11, 12 when I have a breakfast. So yeah, I do fast a little bit. I think it gives your body a rest, give things time to metabolize and you know, get through you and everything. So yeah, I don't see nothing wrong with a little bit of fasting. Everything in moderation. Um, what are some sort of low carb meals you eat after a cheat day or a cheat meal? So low carb meals that I eat after a cheat day, my go-to if I've had like a holiday meal like Thanksgiving and I have a couple days of Thanksgiving to get back on track my go-to and my friends will tell you this too it's their go-to too when we know that we're bloated and we've gained some weight and we've been off track my go-to is tuna fish or ground chicken for my proteins also eggs scrambled eggs over easy eggs hard-boiled eggs eggs are a must for me for getting that weight off quick Eggs, lean protein like ground chicken, fish, ground turkey, um, and then tuna fish or tuna salad, go-to, wrapped in lettuce leaves, go-to, or, or on let salad, tuna is a go-to of mine. Those are go-tos for getting the weight off very quickly. I don't know why, but my body burns. When I'm eating tuna, hard-boiled eggs or over-easy eggs or scrambled eggs, when I'm eating lots of veggies and minimalizing the fruits, the sugars, um, the carbs, like rice cakes, stuff like that. When I kind of push that stuff to the side and focus more on protein and vegetables, I drop weight like that. So that's how I do it. When I'm serious, I can get serious and that's how I do it. Lean proteins, eggs, tuna, lean proteins, and veggies. I bulk up lots of veggies to fill up snacking on veggies. So that's what I do after a cheat day. What meals helped you lose weight the fastest? Again, eggs, tuna salad, chicken salad, ground chicken, um, yeah, lettuce wraps with protein, in it, protein and veggies. I could literally eat all day protein and veggies and drop a few pounds in a couple days. And lots of water, you guys. I drink a gallon of water a day with lemon in it. I don't know why, but it just helps you stay full. It gets everything going. So yeah, protein and veggies. Um, see, Doreen's been doing keto for two years, has lost over 70 pounds. Wow. That's awesome, Doreen. 70 pounds. She has 30 more to go and she finds the last 30 the hardest to lose. She's down two pounds a week, up two pounds a week. She's been thinking about going lower carb like I'm doing instead of keto. She feels there's more options for food that way. Okay, I mean, I think for me picking an actual diet like keto or just you know an actual diet where you restrict anything I don't like to recommend that I'm not a doctor I'm just a person that lost weight but I don't like to recommend that because I don't want to teach people food is bad and you can't have it we should learn how to eat in moderation but as an obese person I was very obese and I have a food addiction and I still do I'm just now learning how to change that I would say going from keto 
to adding carbs in is doable. I did it. Um, but I've also seen people struggle with it. So would I recommend it? You do have more choices and you will probably maintain your lifestyle for a very long time if you had more options. So I see where you're coming from with that. Um, but do I recommend jumping out of keto into a lower carb lifestyle? I think you have to slowly incorporate that because I've also had friends that leave keto and just try to do low carb like what I'm doing and it doesn't work for them um, because their bodies are different. It depends on if you have anything going on with your body. Diabetes, high blood pressure, um, polycystic ovarian syndrome. There's so many different things that can cause hormone problems. So um, slowly try it and see where it takes you. I would. Um, add more veggies that have carbs. If you don't use veggies and count those as carbs, add a couple, maybe a fruit a day. But remember, for me, it's not keto. It's not it's not low carb, it's not pescatarian, it's not none of that. It's how much you're eating. Because even on keto, if we're being realistic, you can't have for breakfast 10 pieces of bacon, 12 eggs, four sausage patties, and think you're gonna lose weight, in my opinion. I've never seen that happen. You've gotta have some kind of balance. Most people on keto will have two slices of bacon, maybe two eggs, you know, a half a cup of cottage cheese or something, bam, that's their breakfast. You gotta have moderation. So for me, I think it's more, if you stay in your calories and you slowly transfer over to eating more carbs, it would probably work, but you gotta stay in your calories but I'm not guaranteeing it. That's the thing. I'm not a doctor, but I, I do know I did it. So if you're asking from my personal point, I did it and I'm all right. I kept losing weight because I did keto, but I only did keto guys for a couple months. I didn't do it long term. I did it for a few months and then I transferred into lower carb. Keto worked for me, but I like fruits and vegetables. So I had to do I had to incorporate those. I just couldn't imagine my life for the rest of my life without fruits and vegetables. So it depends on you. A good question. Very good question. And congrats. 70 pounds. Give yourself a pat on the back. That's amazing. Kim G. Hey, Kim. She's new to my channel. She's been around a couple times now, a couple videos. I commented on her last video. Um, she said, what do you do for a living? Is it too personal? I'm on YouTube, so nothing's too personal in my opinion. I'm putting my life out there to share with you guys. I want you guys to get to know me. I don't want to be just a person on the screen. I want to conversate with you guys. I want to get to know you guys. That's why I even opened an Instagram. I didn't have Instagram. I don't have social media. I don't have Facebook. I opened Instagram just for you guys. If you want to follow me and get to know me more on a personal basis, um, join Neville Health Journey on Instagram is where you can follow me. And that's, I just did it just so I could talk to you guys more. So Kim, good question. What do I do for a living? I think I brought this up before. I am, I went to college for nursing school and I graduated and I got my nursing degree. Currently, I'm actually just an in-home healthcare worker. That's all I do right now. So I'm nursing to people in home. So I go to their home and take care of them. Um, I was in a hospital setting, um, but in home care is kind of where I like to be at. It's my calling, I feel like. It's where I'm happiest. I'm personally helping one-on-one -on -one people and I enjoy it. So that's what I do for a living, healthcare. <laughs> Thanks for the question, Kim. I hope you have a good day, good weekend. All right, next question, B Candy. She's my spicy gal. <laughs> She's got a lot of questions. Thank you, B Candy. I wish I knew her first name. I should, B Candy, what's your first name? Let me know <laughs> if it's not too personal. I call her B. <laughs> Have you tried various diet plans during your journey like keto, Whole30, starch, solution, Weight Watchers? I've tried keto. Um, I've tried multiple diets in the past, diets, grapefruit diet, ice cream diet, Atkins diet, um, cabbage soup diet. I have dieted 
to the extreme, the salad diet. I've done it all. But this journey, that's my timer, guys. I'm trying not to over talk these days. Let me go turn it off real quick. <laughs> I'll be right back. All right, so I'm gonna talk quickly. This journey for the last four years, the diets I've only tried were regular, just portion control. Then I moved into keto for a few months and then I moved into just portion control where I count my calories and stay in my calorie deficit with a little bit of lowering carbs. Like the main carbs are refined carbs, pasta, white bread, potatoes, like that. So that's what I do now. I just do, I just read the back of the label. If it's lower calorie and it has lower carbs, it's all right for me for the most part. Um, so yes, I have tried keto. Yes, I've tried lower carb. No, I haven't tried Whole30. I have done like a cleaner type of eating and I still try to look at my ingredients, but lately, the last couple years, not as much. Um, but I should, because I always think eating clean is better. Um, Weight Watchers. I watch tons of Weight Watchers influencers. Um, Felicia, Amanda, um, the Coles, um, all, a whole bunch, a whole bunch. And they eat similar to the things that I eat. There's a couple carb things that I wouldn't choose to eat, but for the most part, I think Weight Watchers people eat kind of just like how I eat, to be honest. They watch their calorie intake, but they watch it in points. And they, and a lot of them do pick lower carb because if you think about lower carb it means lower calorie. So, no, I haven't tried Weight Watchers, but I like to think I kind of eat like them. So that's a good question. But I'm strictly in a calorie deficit. I think if you get in a calorie deficit, that'll help you a lot. Because if you eat over your calories, it's harder to lose weight. You know, you gotta, you gotta get in a calorie deficit at some point, or at least portion control. Eat less than what you were eating. So good question. Okay, second question. When do you allow yourself to splurge? Holidays, 4th of July, Christmas, New Year's Eve, Thanksgiving, my birthday, Valentine's Day, anniversary holidays or special occasions is when I get to splurge it's usually like once a month or once every month and a half there's something you know where I can splurge I used to do every Saturday after about 70 pounds 80 pounds my body started to slow down the weight so I went to just holidays and special occasions but I used to do it every Saturday and just have a treat day and I do think you should splurge every now and then because it's your lifestyle it's not a diet can do it the rest of your life you have to enjoy yourself sometimes you know okay three what change did you make to see the most weight loss the change I made was a gallon of water a day when I started drinking a gallon of water a day is when I dropped drastic amounts of weight within weeks I lost 20 pounds in one month on the third month or the second month when I started doing a gallon of water a day this is the biggest change Second change would be lean protein, high veggie, low carb. You can eat all kinds of lean proteins. There's so many out there, guys. All kinds of veggies. Make that big old plate of food you want to eat, but fill it with lean protein and veggies. You'll be okay. I promise you. I promise you. If you're someone that likes to eat, fill your plate with veggies and lean proteins. Okay. Have you, wait, have you overcome any problems because weight loss, like diabetes, blood sugar, blood pressure? So, I was pre-diabetic. I'm not anymore. My blood pressure was through the roof. It was like through the roof. High blood pressure. Not anymore. Um, my knees hurt. Constantly they would click when I'd walk. Every time I wake up in the morning to get out of bed, they would click, click, click. I'm not anymore. And so, yeah, nothing hurts anymore. I'm no longer in the zone for diabetes, high blood pressure, any of that. My whole health changed. My heart rate went way down. Um, you know, my pulse went way down. Um, yeah, my anxiety. I used to have severe anxiety where I felt like I was always having a heart attack. It went away. Um, not completely. Every now and then I'll have an anxiety or issue, but for the most part, it went away. And so, yeah, I think weight loss helps a lot of things. I don't breathe heavy anymore. I used to anticipate where I would park in the parking lot because I didn't want to walk from the car to the store. I used to anticipate 
just going out with my kids to a campground or a park or four by fouring or hunting or fishing or whatever they like to do because I didn't know how much trail walking would be. And now I love to walk the trails and do stuff. You just have more energy, you feel great. You will definitely overcome health problems if you lose weight. I didn't want to hear it when the doctor used to tell it to me. He blamed everything on my weight. You have rough heels because of your weight. You have knees that are bad because of your weight. You have this high blood pressure because of your weight. Everything was because of my weight. Well, when I lost a hundred, about a hundred, when I hit about the 80 pound, 100 pound, he was right for most part, for the most part. And so, yes, I have overcome a lot from losing weight health wise. It's definitely been a health benefit. If you're someone that doesn't care about how you look and you just want to do it for your health, that's the reason to do it. I promise you. All right. I am way past my time, guys. So to go healthy, fast food ideas video. Oh, okay. Thank you, B. So she's asking me to do a healthy fast food idea video. Like show you guys healthy options from fast foods um that might be possible i might i might be able to do that or i could just tell you guys healthy options from each fast food place i could do that we'll see i'll think about that that's a good idea that's a good video actually all right because i do go to fast food places and i do um pick healthier options to be honest um Subway is a go-to for mine. You can have any sandwich at Subway on a salad or in a wrap. Um, Chick-fil-A, you can have their little chicken um, grilled nuggets. And what was their other thing they had? They had a side there too, and together it was a very low-calorie meal. Um, Popeyes actually has blackened chicken strips. They're delicious with their side of green beans that are delicious. Great meal. Um... McDonald's breakfast uh, burrito wraps, low calorie meal, even their ice cream cones. I know this sounds crazy, but they're low calorie. They're not that bad if you want to treat. They're not low carb though. So that's definitely like a splurge day. But yeah, I could give you, I, I'll, I'll think up a video for that. So thank you for that. Let me scoot you closer and say goodbye. So time's up guys. I've chatted. I've answered all the questions. Thank you guys for giving me questions. It helps me get a video out. I'm a little fish in a big pond. Thank you again for the shout out, Tommy. Thank you again for um, House of Parker for the shout out. I appreciate you guys. Um, all us little YouTubers help each other. We'll become bigger. And the whole reason I want to become bigger, do I ever think I'm going to be big and make money? Probably not. That's why I have two jobs. But I do like to help people and I like to get my story out there because I was someone that didn't think I could do it, you guys. I didn't think I could do it. Like I said in the beginning of this video, I almost cried because I know you guys are on the other side of the screen and some of you are halfway through your journey. Some of you made it almost all the way through your journey and some of you are still at the beginning. No matter where you are, I guarantee you, you're hitting a struggle point, just like I am. I've lost 141 pounds, but I'm still hitting a struggle point. Will I be out of it? Yeah, but it doesn't mean it feels good to be in it. 70 pounds down, she said. She's hitting a struggle point. Has she lost 70 pounds? Yes, and that's amazing. Is she at a struggle point? Yes, we struggle. There's some people that are like, I, I just want to start my journey and I'm struggling. I get it, and I was on that side of the screen, and I was listening to someone like me talk about their journey, and it helped me. It helped me keep going. So if I could be, if I could be that person to help you keep going, that makes my day. And so when I hear you guys tell me that I'm helping you, 100% I'm going to keep doing this. So thank you guys for your support. I love you. No more cry baby. Until next time. Have a great weekend guys.